first server here on Humana Championship Court. Ooh, sneaks one through, does Annalie Waters for the side out. Held that forehand to the very last moment. Unbelievable shot. 119 career titles to Annalie Go! Waters' name. 39 singles in that total. Point. So that high loopy but deep serve to start. She was talking about that yesterday, trying to get a lot more depth. Not just about the pace, but depth on that serve. Wow. A whipping passing shot cross courts for Waters after a deep serve, as he pointed out. Yeah, what's that, what that is doing is making sure that Lena does not get in as quickly. Short return there and then whole court to go into. To your point about the serve of Annalie Waters, something she shared with us yesterday was that serving is the one aspect of her game she feels like she doesn't fully get to go after for whatever reason. Yes, she said she gets tight on her serve, which yeah. I find very interesting. And she's so good at closing to the kitchen and her coverage of the court is second to none. There's a look at the career record for Lina Padiga Meza. 54% win percentage. And that inside out backhand roll volley for Annalie Waters is a thing of beauty. Yeah, Lennon's in a tough spot here because if she doesn't, she comes forward, she gives Annalie a clear target on the passing shot. She stays back. She allows Annalie to dictate make her move. So she's got to make a decision here. That's a nice volley Fire. from Lina Padiga Mehta. Spots the opening, earns the side out. She's also one of the great moms on the Carvana PPA Tour. Watch the battle at the net. Zero, three. Side out. to Annalie Waters, hot start, four nothing lead here in game number one. Best two out of three, games to 11. Four, zero. Whoa, clean winner down the line for Padiga Mehta. Yeah, she's gotta go after lines today, I like that. Yeah, that's Very what Waters. Clean. She does that to you, right? Forces you to try and play perfect. Yep, go after small targets. I think that's okay. She's got a red line. Short hop chance. Yeah, better dipping pass there. Getting into the kitchen on that third, not allowing Annalie to be at full stretch and take it out of the air. Two, four. Five Great point construction there for Annalie Waters. She also talked to us a lot about her self-dialogue in these singles matches, how she, when she externalizes her conversations, it becomes more positive and less internalized with negativity, which can happen sometimes when you're battling for I think that's, I think that's the same for, for, for all of us. Our yeah. internal dialogue can be a little brutal at times, but if you can outwardly be positive, you get the body language to mirror that talk, then you're in a good state of mind. Brutal bounce there on the serve, but 
we move on. Three, four. Side out. Waters will get one back off the net. Tough bounce for Lena. had to pull herself out of a hole in the round of 16 in game two against Georgia Johnson yep. to get to this point. Nice point. clean ball to the corner again. What is it about the inside out backhand of Annalie Waters that's so yeah. particularly good in your eyes, Matt? I mean, she can just hold it to the last second is the thing. She can come around single score, but glad she's back and, and in dominating fashion again. Waters back to serve now to Lina on the receiving. Point. Fends off the pace well, but couldn't handle the volley. Again, I like that dipping cross court pass from Lina. She has to follow that next ball, though. It's going to be coming from low to high. You need to get that next one out of the air, otherwise, it's kind of a waste of a shot. Set herself up yep. nicely that time on the return. Better decisive return there into a corner, following it in, no hesitation whatsoever. Three, seven. Point. A couple of months, and she has already Clinched gold in Salt Lake City last weekend. Made a final in Kansas City. Side out. Just wide for Lina Padigameta. Again, less of a margin if she goes down the line there to an outstretched Annalie on the forehand side. I like Lina, I like, oh, unbelievable third. I like Lina going, passing Point. shots to the backhand side. Obviously, two hands on the paddle, a little bit more limited reach. Yeah, nothing she can do about that pass right there. That's for sure, Mish. Another timeout will be called. Um, you saw a lot of younger players think that that's what's happening with pickleball now. Maybe in the future it'll change. That was great advice from you a moment ago. Lena Kadigameta took it, struck it to the backhand side on the pass. Five, nine. A little spinorama there. <laughs> Side out. Chris Pierre on that volley for Annalie Waters. 93% win percentage, and nobody's even close to catching her. Side out. Mato, who's playing for a lot. The top eight players will advance to the finals come December. Right now, Lina on the outside looking in. And if she keeps making yeah. runs like this, she'll be well into the top eight. Again, a great dipping pass there, allowing that ball from Italy to sit up on the next one, and then she has target practice. How about that close? Timeout Pulls within Eight one, nine. causes another timeout on the side of Waters. Have another look. What'd you like about this point from Lena? <laughs> I actually like that Waters just leaned. Yeah. Yeah. Crucial side out for Waters. Opportunity missed for Lena to tie in at nine. Two big on the pass, a 
attempt to the backhand side. Back to the same corner twice goes Annalee Waters for a game point. Yeah, better point there for Annalee. Again, Lena not coming in after that return. Hurts her just a little bit. for Lena Padigameta. On the full stretch here, Lena to get that backhand cross-court angle. Very impressive, sliding away from Annalie Waters. Eight, ten. Wow. <laughs> from the transition area in a scramble, yep. Waters gets herself out of it. Yeah, held that to the last second. We got a lost ball behind the scoreboard there, but you held that so much topspin, dipping. And that's why that, that kitchen area is so tricky. You have to cover so many different angles. You can't cut the ball off. See if Annalee can hit that target. It's just too good. Game point number two for Annalee Waters. Game point. Ten, eight. Wicked finish for the world number one. Up a game on the 10 seed. Tournaments are a fun and exciting way to grow your game. Connect with other players and stay active in the welcoming pickleball community. Whether you're a seasoned player or looking to try your first tournament, we have a place for you. Behind than any other pro in the sport in women's and it is not even close. I think the next closest is Parento and she's maybe at 37 now. That's a wild disparity <laughs> between metal counts. What zero? <laughs> oh my, spinorama <laughs> and pointing to the crowd does Annalie Waters. And the big smile, you'd like to see it. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, the bad part two for Lina here in game two is I think Annalie's gonna loosen up a little bit. Maybe the nerves from game one are completely gone. And that call was out according to Lina Padigameta. We'll see if Annalie Waters will challenge this one. Drew DeHennis, Norman Belgith, and Onisha Smith are our referees for this one. That's the ladies that Annalie Waters was pointing to after she won most recent point. Perfectly played by Lena Padigameta. Didn't surrender anything from the kitchen. Not at all. Held her ground there so well. So stable in the legs there. Awesome shot there from Lena. One, two. Unbelievable pass for Annalie Waters. Took a little bit off of it, but heavy topspin to drop it inside. Two, one. Point. Again, that high loopy serve. Peng Dividends getting a short return and can just do what she wants with that next ball. Too good. Cross-court winner for Time Waters. Three-point lead and another timeout for Lena Padigameta. It looks more confident in the movement here in game two, getting up to that short ball quickly. Time in. Four one.
One, four. Punch and bounce for Waters. We'll get one back. Typically evens out of the end. Right. Four, one. Yep. Just holds that to the last second. You have to respect the fact that you can get the outside of that ball. See it here, holds it, and whoop. Too good. <laughs> the reset, but credit to Lina for keeping Annalie mm -hmm. Waters at the baseline. Not an easy feat. I think she was stuck between two decisions there and didn't really make either of them. Was going to rip it line. One, five. Whips five. that one full anticipation. Knew exactly where that drive was going from Lina Pazigameta. and then cleans up another. You can see Annalie Waters a step ahead of the play yep. as we see. Her first pro sport to go after, and I think you'll see a lot more people like her in the coming years, which will be awesome to see. Point. Yeah, I've circled that Kate Fahey, Leia Jansen match. That's going to be electric here on championship court. Coming up a little later. Seven, it's going to be a fun one for sure. Side out. Just caught in the transition zone a little bit there. Wasn't sure whether to back up or come forward. I'm sure that happens to all of us at home. One, seven. that backhand volley. I mean, really impressive to me with the youth of Annalie Waters. She rarely hesitates on her decisions. She doesn't second guess herself. No. You can tell every time she's striking the ball, she's confident. It's almost like she doesn't even take a second to think about it. She it's, just goes. It's instinct at this point. Look, she's been playing pickleball for a long time at the highest levels. There's great people around her. I still think it's interesting that she gets tight on her serve, of all things. You gotta get tight somewhere, right? Here's a tournament update. Salome Davidze takes out Brooke Buckner in straight games, 11-6, 11-4. Brooke Buckner has been one of the stars of women's singles yep. as well. Captured gold in Bristol in women's singles. And in Kansas City as well. Yeah, she's been she's been dominating, especially with Match Annalie's point. absence. Match point for Annalie Waters. That's deep. Waters moving on to the semifinals, a two-game sweep over Lina Pitiga Meta and the 17-year-old generational talent. Vegas is known for its entertainment and Annalie Waters, the world number one, putting on a show for us today on center stage. She is moving on to the semifinals with a two-game sweep over Lina Padiga Meta, Michelle McMahon, Matt Manassi in the booth. Annalie Waters joining us now courtside to discuss. And Annalie, you mentioned you love being in Vegas. A lot more crowd engagement from you today. How would you describe the atmosphere here from Humana Championship Court? Yeah, it's been awesome. I think there are a few more people here earlier today. When it gets later, there's more people, but today it was pretty crowded for it being 11 o'clock. So thank you guys for coming out. It was awesome too, because I was like running around the court doing my warm ups, and there was this group of ladies sitting in the backside, and they were like cheering for me as I was going around the court. So after I had that long uh, point in the second game, I like looked and pointed at them. So thank you guys. Stay here all day and cheer for me, please. You are awesome. <laughs> there, there's the ladies on the screen. I love it. I love it, Las Vegas. Lady in the green, let's go. We talk about your forehand, your backhand, serve all the time. Let's talk about off-court a little bit. What mental training 
do you do to stay locked in and focused week in, week out? Yeah, I have a mental coach, but at the same time, I try not to think about it too much because I think like if you're really honing in on you know mental stuff, doing mental exercises, it can honestly get you thinking about it more. So if I'm having a problem or I want to talk to him about something, I'll call him. But if I'm doing well, I try not to think about it or do mental exercises because then it just, I think personally it puts more stuff into your head. So I just like to go out there, play, have fun. My mom's great on the sidelines because I, I can just talk nonsense to her and she, she'll get me out of whatever, I, whatever bad situation I'm in mentally. So thank you, mom. Um, but yeah, I try to stay positive with what I'm thinking in my head and what I say a lot on the court. And yeah, Annalie, going off of your point there, when you're going after it in these matches, it doesn't even look like you're hesitating at all. You don't even second guess any of your shots. It, so it seems to us, which is what makes you so entertaining. Where does that come from, that instinct where you just go for it and you know exactly what you're going to hit even before the ball is played? I honestly don't know. I think it's funny because when I'm in the point, I really don't think about much. And after the match, I can probably remember one or two points that happened in the match. So I think I'm just so like locked in on what's going on and like not thinking about anything else. But then on like timeouts and stuff, I kind of let myself relax and not be so like, ah, all the time. So when I get on the court, I think I'm more like intense. And then when I talk to my mom, I try not to, you know, be super hard on myself. Well, congratulations, Annalie, moving on to the semifinal. A very familiar territory for you, but good Thank to you. have you back for the first time. Good to be back. Since June, let's take a look now at the women's draw. Three semifinal spots to be claimed. Actually, make that two. Now Salome Davidze punching her ticket through. So Annalie Waters will face Salome Davidze for a spicy semifinal matchup. That one will take place tomorrow. And we will have one more singles on the ladies' mat match side of things coming your way on center courts but coming up next we switch over to the men it's Tyson McGuffin taking on Jaume Martinez Vic the three seed versus the eight seed it's going to be highly entertaining you don't want to miss it